there is no fish in the ocean. Basically, they're saying they go out to the Mediterranean, they go out to fish coming out with empty nets. It's sent also for the fishermen. I look at the fishermen themselves, also people that cannot make the living already. But then the question is, why is it happening? We're already seeing that fish populations have completely plummeted. What we're seeing now with destructive, illegal, and overfishing is one of the greatest threats to the continuation of our civilization. The Sea Shepherd ship Bob Barker is on patrol in the waters of Israel to monitor it and to provide information to Israeli law enforcement authorities so that they can act to stop illegal fishing. It's out of sight, out of mind, what happens out in the ocean. I feel that, that it, it needs protectors and needs defenders. Sea Shepherd is committed to staying in Israel long term to help not just with the protection of existing marine parks, but to assist the government with establishing new conservation initiatives. But without enforcement, legislation is just a paper tiger. It's going inside a marine protected area. In the last three weeks that we are here patrolling in Israeli water, we find already six fishing efforts of trawlers fishing in no trawling zones. The fact that it's so poor and there is not a lot of fish here just saying how much we should protect it. And all these places that have been announced as protected areas, places for no trawling, for no fishing, must be respected for future generations to be able to live over here in these areas. We cannot fish until the last fish. We all understand the value of national parks on land, but we need more marine parks at sea. The United Nations has committed to putting aside 30% of the world's oceans as marine protected area by 2030. And that's why we're focusing on these areas, the marine protected areas, where we can make a difference. And these areas are so important to repopulate the oceans, because if you have 30% of the ocean protected, actually protected, then fish will recover in those areas. The marine ecosystem is very resilient. It can bounce back very quickly, but we need to give it a chance to recover, so. International cooperation is required, and that's why we're proud to see Israeli leadership taking ocean conservation issues seriously. There's a growing movement in Israel, people adopting a plant-based diet, saying no to meat and to fish. Because that's really what's needed. There's too many people on the planet, and we can't keep taking from the ocean at some point it's going to stop. So we now have the chance to make sure that we stop it before it stops us.